Hey y'all, hey YouTube, it's Queer J, let's get straight to this, this is Derek Manor, The Trap Review Part 2, let's get to this, so I listen through, recapping through, of course, man, I have a dream, gotta go, Black Market, of course, featuring Brian John, gotta go, featuring Greg James, and the rest were all just Derek Manor himself. And wow, listening through those, that phased, that phase there of those songs, it felt like a shift, but it still felt solely a part of the whole album, with the whole trap, sort of society, sort of that drug, sort of hood. I can't completely comprehend it, but it's so good how he shares in Of Course and in Man, he kind of states he's where he's at, where how far he's come, and in that sense, what he's changed into and what he's really transformed from with God's help, transforming, saving his life, and I'm pretty sure he can express that all in all his other songs I've heard as well. So basically, then I'm pretty sure he also states his thoughts and also experiences, lifestyles, in I Have a Dream, probably also Man, of course, it's gotta go, it's all, it's all in this album, basically, and all across all music, and it's just the detail of depth into how he shares his message, so, let's go into, of course, where I'll share a little bit that really stuck out to me. Actually, I think it's just basically in the chorus where he's like, Hallelujah, oh Lord, where I'm from and go for it when they board. We ain't supposed to be here, Papa Cork. God did it. Ooh, I'm flexing. Yeah, of course. Men out the bottom, of course. I ain't got to worry about a thing anymore. Basically, those lines saying that he's been through so much. And if you get the vibe of the album, listening through everything, he's come so far. He's met it at the bottom. Of course. But he ain't gotta worry about a thing anymore. So you get you get what I'm saying here and he's it's just very easily said and done right there that he just he's come so far and he's God's been guiding him, shaping him, strengthening him, all that. Just whew it's so freshening to see when an artist brings up on how far they've come and how and how much more they've still got to go. That's crazy. That's just like talks about the grind of life and how you push yourself and how you live for God. That's just, that's all commitment, man. Whew, that's so good. That's good for the soul. And that's good to hear as for listeners like us so we can also be not just inspired but motivated to pursue and continue our relationship and lifestyle, living and serving Christ. That's crazy. That's good. That's good. Yeah. But as well, let's go straight to man. Because there were a few things that stuck out to me when I list had a recap to that. So, in the chorus as well, yeah, sorry for the long death. Look me in my face, I'm a man. If you talk behind my back, say it to me like a man. So he goes in that depth of, like, going through so much and understanding the concept of, I guess, communication and connection with others in that sense. And if you're talking behind his back, it's like, 
he's he has that mindset and mentality now to be truly a man and that's <laughs> that's kind of a really big deal like for me and for for young men listening to this it's like it kind of gives you some kind of hope but it also implements you to think about how you want to be a man and what changes what you want to challenge yourself to be a better person to be a real man to be but then we should all as Christians we should all look to Jesus Christ who really sets an example being the man not just like the man that everyone typically thinks of a tough strong wise smart guy but no like think of the man of Christ being that example that's a whole nother level of a, of a real man yeah so going into that depth of in man I'll also point out the verse 1 where it also says I know all I know is hustle all I know is hustle so he's been at it for years that also points into his state of mind no sorry he's where his state is at you ain't on your business I don't know if I can trust you oh I'm taking care of mine Look my children in my eye. Tell him you won't miss a meal. As long as daddy's still alive. That shows how far he's come. He's also has his family, his children he's looking after, providing for, and really taking it as a real man. That's ooh. Also being that father figure, that's also a man as well. And I guess we'll move to the next part with I have a dream. So he points out like he's, I have a dream, kind of all these things he dreams of. I'm not sure if it's exactly like he had this real dream and then he just decided to write down, I have a dream. Or if it's in that state of, like, everyone knows how. Got Martin Luther King. Luther King. My bad. My bad. Respect. Rest in peace. And, wow. Like, there's so much I can't completely get into detail with right now. But what I can notice right now is where he goes into verse 2. Wait, is that verse 2 or verse 1? My bad, guys. Yeah, so in this song he basically goes about telling into that lifestyle but also in that sense of that dream of dreaming of a brighter future and all these things unfortunately the rest of the lyrics just aren't here unfortunately on genius this is very strange so you should get that sort of genius yeah uh, but I'll just point out verse 2 I look around the world and all I see is it's just a broken version of what it's supposed to be murder, lie, cheat, steal, kill for the love of money and pursuit of power kids wounded by adult figures and they tr and they sorry and they cry at night and that's scar tissue politicians and well that's the end of the lyrics here on Genius but there's clearly a lot more lyrics that should have been right here right on that side that's strange I will send them a little message about that but mm. and that in that kind of verse there I could also point out the other verses but in that just verse that kind of implies of what our world is like the lifestyle daily in society in general murders lies cheats happening stealing killing for the love of money and pursuit of power kids wounded by adult figures it seems so reality and that's that's what's deep about it he goes into the depth of the very reality of experiences in that kind of ghetto hood lifestyle 
it's crazy. I love how he just goes in that lane of the trap he talks about, and I love it. You gotta go. You gotta go. He mentioned something here that stood out as well. If I can find it. Is this no this is Greg James's part, sorry. Looking at the wrong lyrics. Oh but they both I love how the other artists implemented some really good lyrics into it. <laughs> I feel bad because I'm not a huge lyricist breakdown person yet, but sometime in the future I will be. <laughs> Hopefully I get there. Hopefully. I would like to. Okay, so verse 2 is Derek Minor. Bro on the bag. A shame that I'm glad. Lord on my bag, yeah. Dollar gold talking flog. This makes you two faced. Guess we lies different. You two chains make you swag different. Army life make you trap different. Once you see that you're his job, bet you never sleep. Told him not to ever carry charge by playing so that's kind of talking in that lifestyle of makes us have these two different where it says two face I'm thinking we have these two different sides of us that completely different And we're acting different in certain circumstances and situations, right? Yeah, so you two chains make you swag different. Army life make you trap different. Yeah, so it talks about like we all have these different two sides when we're living out of a different environment and in another environment and we're acting totally different in two different ways. And there's two sides to it, two different sides to us. In a sense, and it really just comes down to once you see that you're his job, bet you never sleep. So it's kind of like saying, bet you never sleep, like you're going into getting a job, working hard for it. Or it's like you can't, you're thinking about that other person. And what you cannot become, or what you comparing yourself to someone you shouldn't. That's my best interpretation. That's so bad. Anyways, <laughs> let's finish this up with Black Market. Black Market. He mentions about drugs and the and that kind of lifestyle, but also he mentions a bit of that drug history thing. Talks about Rick Ross, the the original Rick Ross. We're not talking about um, this this so-called singer rapper. Sorry, rapper Rick Ross guy. He goes, oh. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have friends who do that. I had. I did that myself back in the day. I didn't listen to much of him. I heard one or two songs, maybe three, but. Um, yeah, <laughs> back on topic, black market, right, <laughs> talks about, okay, verse 1, here it is, who gave the real Rick Ross coke to spread it from coast to coast, I know, but if I said it, y'all would kill me, just google Gary Webb if you feel me, ain't gonna spell it out all the time you use your mind, how they brand kids as slaves, 
get dope cross ocean tides or borderlines or county lines. I'm stuck now. Black men are mascots for hell on earth. Took his start at the Crips. I think I said that right. And told us. Own your turf. Now we shoot in the gym or the block for survival. But either way, we blue devils. My cousins went to jail for selling weed. Now in Colorado, you get green leaf with green tea. At first, pumpkin spice latte, latte, lattes were her addiction. Now she throw them yoga pants and Uggs want to smoke in Denver. Okay, so in my small inter interpretation of this, from the beginning, it just talks about like how drugs started off and just went from coast to coast basically and went everywhere and all that. I haven't done a lot of research into drugs, I'm not that kind of person, but that has like just listening to that song and listening to the vibe of the trap album gets me interested into doing some research up on that kind of this very realistic, very important subject matters that Derek Miner is very much depicting, sorry, not depicting, um, just sharing in his music to speak life and really open our eyes and our minds to a new perspective or something like that, that can really change, change us from, to make a better change, to make a difference, I guess, in a sense, and that's what I've just been able to interpret. <laughs> So guys, leave your comments below, what are your thoughts, if you'd like to mention anything, comment below, like if you enjoyed it, if not, uh, dislike it, <laughs> I don't mind, subscribe if you want to join the family, you are a child of God, if you don't know that, go to your local church, see someone, if you have a Christian friend or know someone, just talk to them, come to know God, and I pray that you all just find your way to getting to know God and having a relationship with Him and experiencing the offering and the presence, the power, the grace, the mercy and all of it. The great goodness of what God can give to you. And God is always giving us graciously whether we know Him or we don't know Him. Hope you guys enjoyed this. God bless. That's it for the part two. Stick around next for the part three. God bless you. Peace out. Shoo, cool,